pressure today though is Mahindra Logistics reported an operationally weak third quarter. So just to take you through the numbers, you know, the top line growth was soft in an otherwise strong, seasonally strong quarter for the company. And as a result of this uh, weakness in the top line, it bore down on the EBITDA and as a result of which the net profit turned into a net loss. So um, the revenues grew just around 5%. The EBITDA declined by 17%. Margins came off by 100 basis points and the company reported a 17 and a half crore loss. Third party logistics, which is the mainstay of the company, saw a revenue growth of about 5%. B2B Express saw revenue growth of 5% as well. Weakness was stark in the freight forwarding and last mile delivery business, which grew just 1% and freight forwarding actually declined by 24%. Mobility saw 28% growth in their revenue and actually turned around on the operational front as well. So that was a bit of a positive. The company said the third quarter was a period of moderate demand. There were lower volumes due to capacity consolidation and increased shutdowns. They are expecting some new capacities to hit their uh, you know business in the next financial year. So that's something we'll be watching out for. And additionally, they will also invest 50 crores in the Revigo business, which is MLL Express. So how that plays out is something we will watch out for. Their long-term target for FY26 is to become a 10,000 crore revenue business. So with all these CapEx uh, plays coming in, that would be the target. But as of now, it looks like the third quarter was weak, and which is why the stock is lower. Okay, well, let's do one thing. Let us sip into a quick break on that note. On the